Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Mon PJC Let's Play in Minecraft and we are here today very excited in 1.16 and this is the start of my season four. One, two, three, four. Remember, counting me on PJC. I'm sure you do if you're a follower. Uh, if you're not already a follower or a subscriber, hit that follow and subscribe button right away because you're in for some action packed fun. So, what's been happening? Well, 1.6 doesn't prop 1.16 even probably doesn't look a lot different from many other worlds that. You've been, especially when you look around behind me here, uh, there's no Optifine at the moment. Uh, still waiting for shaders, that'll be fantastic when I get to have those back. But I've been busy in my world, and as per normal, I've fell down a really big hole. So let's just sort that out and try again. Well, an episode of uh, uh, Steamcraft and my Let's Play wouldn't be the same without me falling down a big hole, would it? No. I mean, Crikey, you would have thought when I started over there, I would have seen that coming. But obviously not. I was too busy doing the whole, like, fancy input scene. But, as you can see behind me, we're not starting in a completely empty world. I've got armour, and I've also got a village started straight away. So, we're going to go over there and have a look. And I'm going to give you a show around as to what I've been doing in this first episode, and how my world's been progressing. First of all, we have this sand uh, desert area, which is going to become a visit. And you can see I've already started building lots of stuff over here. Uh, and we're just going to go over this fancy gate. Uh, this gate design was uh, modified from a tutorial I saw online. Many of the stuff that you see has already been done online somewhere. It's a great idea to go and have a look around online, see what other people are doing. And uh, yeah, it's just great. So I started off my world with a, a little wooden house all the way over there and uh, been evolving things slowly and it decided it was about time to start sharing with you guys how this world actually looks. So I, I'm going to go, go show you my hut. Let's go show you my little starter hut because it, it, it's a bit mad over there now because I, I finally got some villagers breeding. Hello. Hello. Yeah, he's standing on something so it looks big. And um, I started building stuff, uh, and the villagers started breeding, and they've gone absolutely nuts. And so many of you are unemployed. It's it's just not funny. Out the way, guys. Out the way. Out the way. Out the way. In my house. Right, and uh, they're raiding my house. It's way noisy. So I started off with this little room. If you can hear me over these guys, with some storage in the roof. Bits and pieces. And very basic setup. Excuse me, I'm trying to show people around. Can you please move back? Yeah, the roof's nice. Uh, a little enchanting table, brain stand, few chests, well, stuff and things in there. Um, it's, it's getting dark outside, so I'm going to need to slip my bunk beds up there. But these guys tried to get in my bed. It's like you, you're not allowed in my bed, are you? No. Right. Oh, I can't sleep yet. Can I sleep? No. I want to sleep. There we go. Sleepy. Boohoo! There we go. And we're on a server. So this world's running continuously. So this lock keep breeding and don't stop. Uh, yep, it's a little extension to the, the little very, very basic hut here. And then I built some little village huts over here. Let's get away from the villages. It's far too noisy. And just basically got them going for the whole breeding thing. And there's there's loads of beds. So over here, we've got to start with a little farmer's house. Got a little tree area. Tree area's going on there. Cows and sheep. I'll show you an awesome little sheep farm thing that I've got. It's brilliant. This little area, trying to make trying to make stuff start to look aesthetically pleasing. I love this idea of the roofs. This is awesome. Just use campfires and put the campfires out. Looks really good. So this is the reason I've got so many villagers. I made a dorm. Oh, sorry, might be interrupting something in there. Um, yeah, so that's quite busy. Let's go over here and have a check out. Oh, oh, Gate closed. Hello, sheep. Out of way, sheep. So over here, 
We have this. This is a fantastic little thing. <clears throat> we have three butt naked sheep all up there. And the reason these little sheep are butt naked is because this is an auto farm for shearing sheep. And look at that. How much wool have I got? I'll tell you what. There was a lot more black wool in there than that. And I'll show you where all that black wool went in a bit. <clears throat> Very simple. Observer. There we go. There's an observer pointing at a piece of dirt, which, well, a piece of grass that the sheep are on. The sheep eat the grass, update the observer, flick the little ready button, flingy, dotsy, wotsy, wotsy, and in there's shears. And then underneath there, there's hoppers, collectors, all that up, fan dazzy dozy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, Mon PJC did a thing with redstone, it was that easy. Right, next. This little farm over here is awesome. Absolutely awesome. I love the the uh, the style that I saw this done in. Is that it's a wait, wait, this is an iron farm. Secret iron farm. Doesn't look like an iron farm. Actually, what we got is some villagers in here. But we've got little pens. And carrots. See, there's a villager in here. He's not in a cell. That's not a cell window. That's protecting him. So go around the outside. And then we got this guy. Look, see, look, is, is he gonna shit? Is he gonna do it right now? Go on, go on. Throw some spuds in. Are you gonna throw some spuds? Or are you just gonna have a chat? So got one farmer doing carrots, one doing spuds. Lots of spuds. Got another one around here doing wheat. And I've got lots of weeds and stuff around the outside because uh, look, bread. And then in here, the iron farm. This is a really cool idea. I love the idea. Um, basically, this whole area, 23 squares around this central building, which has got a weird, wacky roof on the top to stop the lightning. Uh, nothing can spot well. The, the poor old iron golems can't spawn anywhere, but in here. And look, I've got so many whole systems overflowing. So they can only spawn in this little area, the iron golems, and they get burnt up over there. And in there, and I won't open the door because the villagers escape. But there's four villagers, four beds, and I can't remember his name. It might be Ralph, or Bob, or Jerry, or Lewis, or I can't remember what your name is, Mr. Zombie. You've got a name tag anyway. But he's constantly scaring the life out of these four, producing iron golems. How much iron we got? We got loads. We got, we got, we got loads of iron. Down here. In here. All these hoppers are full up. Look at that. Stacks. Iron for days. And considering I'm playing in single player mode, it, that's pretty awesome. Uh, next. World tour. Up speed. Can we do it in 15 minutes? Probably not. Um, did that. We did that. Over here. Spud farm. This is a massive spud farm. Standard four villagers, each in their own little quadrant, with a bed and a workstation. Can't get around here to see what's going on inside. There they go. And once again, there's a villager in the middle there. There he is, you can just see his little face. And all these guys are throwing uh, potatoes at him. Why potatoes? Well, because potatoes can be cooked. Easy peasy cooking uh, potatoes. Need no peeling. Just put them straight in the oven down here. Well, not down here yet. I haven't built this bit yet. This is what you're going to get to watch. Full of spuds. Out the back of this, we're going to cook the spuds, process the spuds into a composter. What comes out of the composter? Bone meal. Bone meal farm. There we go. Because I'm, I'm getting hacked off with cutting down trees. I've cut down so many trees. I've cut some down somewhere in the region of 3,000 logs, I reckon. Even more, 4,000 logs probably. This place is full of logs. My roof's a bit fancy on this building. Look, Neverack, you can tell where I've been. I've not been to the end. No, not been to the end. I might take these guys with me. This is as far as I've gone. Oh, there is this thing over here. 
You can tell I went to the jungle. So you went to the jungle. Found bamboo. Into the nether. Found stuff. That was very scary. Oh, the nether. The new nether's fantastic. This is my new mansion. Well, well, it's not much of a mansion yet, is it? Really? I mean, let's 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 be honest. It's not. It's not that pretty. I mean, it's, well, actually, it, it could actually be pretty. I mean, look at that Neverack roof. That's expensive stuff, you know. That is not easy to go and get, right? And all, and all that strip wood. Do you know how many axes I get through? Well, not that many now, because I actually found some Neverack as well. Neverack, never, Neverack, Neverack, Neverack. That that new stuff. That new stuff that no one can pronounce. Anyway, do you want to go see the Never? It's one sixteen. We, we wouldn't be playing this unless it was, there was a new never, would we? The never scary. Anyone want to come to the never with me? Anyone? Do you want to come to the never? Never? You do? You want to come to the never? Oh, okay. You changed your mind. Okay. Let's go. To the never. Now, this is this is the back storage room. It's a bit now. Oh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. You are about to see the most advanced and expensive mushroom farm you've ever seen. I tell you, it's good. It's good. I, that was going to be supposed to be nodding my head, but that didn't work really, did it? No. Right, okay, ready? In here. There you go, look at that. Mushroom farm. I leave them two. And then I get more mushrooms. This is the first flower I picked. I've got to find something to do with it. I don't know what to do with the mushrooms now. Right, never portal. Right, yeah. Oh, never portal's broken. Um, no obsidian. It, it don't work. What's going on, guys? It's all right, though. Ha <laughs> ha! I've got another one. I've got another portal. Oh, wrong buttons. Sorry, right, I didn't know how to play the computer. Over here, there is a whoa ravine. I I have died so many times down there. I've also died so many times up there as well. But there we go. So in here, oh, bit of bit of storage. Oh, on PJC's been doing stuff. Blackstone. Ooh. Yeah, lots of it. Door right. Yeah, see, I haven't used the door right for anything actually. Blackstone. Now, this is where the roof of the building is that I'm about to show you. It's an underground vault. This has all got to be decorated. It's going to be look awesome. Using this new blackstone stuff, which I absolutely love. Down here, there is. I, I don't know. Shall I show, show you? Shall I show, 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 like, hang on, hang on. Big reveal. Just like that. And. Oh no, this is the back of my head. Right, are you ready? Three, two, one, go! New Never Portal. How awesome is that? Look at that bad boy. That's a Never Portal. Alright, okay. That might be my screenshot. Let's turn that, oh, no, turn that off first. Press that one, then that one. There we go. New Never. Well, it won't be a surprise now if you've just seen that's my screenshot, will it? My thumbnail, I mean. Right, new never pop. Look at this. It's black void. Oh, it's just... It's so sexy. And look at this. All black stone. Uh, polished basalt. Polished, uh, normal basalt in the roof there. A bit of polished uh, black stone. Black stone bricks. A lot of deaths of cows. That's what a bookcase looks like. That's what I see. When I look at a bookcase like that, I think, oh my God, do you realise how many cows... Do you, do, you, do you know how many axes I've been through? It's ridiculous. Anyway, the wood, the cow deaths, the cutting down trees. <gasps> it's been a killer. But what the, there There's barrels all the way around. What we got? Look at these. They're so cute. I don't know what they are. Are they shulkers? They're not shulkers because they'd be in the end. What are they? I love these blue lights. Oh, awesome. Look. Storage. Well, okay. 
the, yeah, there's going to be a lot of storage and the floor needs to be sorted out. Shall I come back to this? Do you want to go? Do you want to go in the never? Look at this. We brought our own little bit of never all the way over here. Look at, look at that. Ooh, I'm probably going to fall off there. All the way down to bedrock from up there, from level 30 something, 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 down to six and seven and black wall. Yeah, just saying, a lot of sheep worked hard to produce this. You don't know really how much. Anyway, epic builds apart. Go through my own custom portal. Into the portal, here we go. Bye bye. And here we are in a blackstone hut. Yep, it's a blackstone hut. And out here I've got a little garden area. Have I got my gold hat on? Yeah, I have. I'm all right. I'm safe. These guys have been hanging around waiting for me to open the chest. I made a little blackstone hut. Look at that. I love the tinkling noises that you get. There's over here in this woodland stuff. Oh, the pigs. These pigs are awful. They, they, they've got some range on them as well. You watch this. Ah, da, da, da. Yeah. Easy. De deal with it, boys. Boys, deal with him. Get it. Get out there. Kill him. Kill it. They can't get through. Right. Okay. Over here. This is the Navarak. Navarak farm. Oh my word. There's a lot in there. Actually, let's get some of this done. Let's do this right now. I'm probably going to get hit on the head for opening a chest now. The new. Piggy, piggy, what's it, thingy magics. They don't like it when you open the chests. See how expensive Neverack bricks are. Every one of those is a, is a block of Neverack. And you need four of them just to get some bricks. And then you need even more. What you need to then use them. Ah! Who did that? Get off! It's my base. Out! Bad boy. Right. Um, yes, as I was saying, you then have to like convert all this into stones and bricks and all sorts of stuff. And amazingly, I didn't die just then. Anyway, this is a fast burner. I saw this by a guy called Chapman. Fantastic. Actually, it's designed by um, uh, Mumbo. That's it, by Mumbo. And it evenly distributes all the, uh, the, the goodies. And this thing has been going for ages right chests empty big hole down here going very low down with not very much neverite i've got very little neverite at all to be honest it's been a bit of a disaster how are you sticking your head through the wall really mojang bigger hitbox anyway let's go let's go explore this I'm going to show you my favourite place in the Never. This is really good. I haven't stopped talking. I'm so excited. And they're tinkling noises again. So I made this pathway. And I put all the blue flames around it because I thought it looks pretty. It's like a lit path. I would have rebuilt this. I'm interested to see where in the in the overworld it comes out. There was, there was obviously a reason they built it. Got to be. Let's go down here. All these stones and the dead bones. Well, bone, bones dead. Can you have dead bones? I guess you can have dead bones. Bones. I was telling you about how dangerous this place was. It's these guys. You missed. <laughs> yeah, you get raided by skeletons all the time, and those are like like uh, picklings. This, this, this bit. Look, look at that. Right, that is absolutely magic. There's a big cube thing jumping up and down over there in the distance. I think we just saw a magma cube die. Well, that was a sad moment, wasn't it? Like, it, it look, look, look. Can you hear the crackling? I don't mean another fire. I mean it's like it's it's like there's radiation or something. <laughs> huh? 
this ghosts. It's like this scary place that oh the ground's moving. Can you hear it? Can you hear the rumbles of the ground moving? It's really cool. It's fantastic. I love the sound effects in this area. So this is a natural ravine that I found. I didn't cut this out at all. It's all natural. And I made a hut. Well, I actually made a little hole in here where I can store stuff, basically. But we have to carry it all the time. Did you hear that? Do you hear the do you hear the little <coughs> stuff? It's fantastic. Right, so up here, I've been digging. Look at this. It's awesome. It's I so cannot wait to see this with shaders. This thing is gonna look oh, just like amazing. I'm really tempted now. I want to get like a ray tracing graphics card. Oh, you hear that? You hear the ground move? It's awesome. So around here, this is where I got all my blackstone from. So down down here, you'll notice there's this very large hole. Yeah, well, there's a very large hole here because this used to all be blackstone. Yeah, down there as well. So I mined out tons of this stuff. And there's a, a whole plateau out there. There's these guys. It's all, it's all a bit normal over here. But, I mean, lots of people have been showing off the, the new stuff in the Never. The, um, the crimson stuff. But this this area, the basalt area, I just didn't see coming really with the update. And when they produced this place, it was just like, oh, this is magic. It, it's just, even the sound on these bricks, listen. It's like there's an echo in here. I just noticed an idiot out of hearts. There we go. Right, listen to it when you when you cut it as well. Make, makes this fantastic sound. Where's some blackstone? Blackstone sounds really good when you cut it as well. When, when you're playing this and you're on your own, there's, it's really quiet a lot of the time, and you're not really talking. But you can hear all the sound effects. Listen. Hear that crunchy sort of sound it's got. And I walk through here and it sounds like there's an echo. It actually sounds like the sounds echoing around as you're walking on it and the little crackly noises and stuff as well. Absolutely brilliant. You know, I remember when Mojang announced, we're gonna tell you all about the new update. Guess what it's going to be? Everyone's going, cave update, cave update, cave update. It's the never update. And we all went, uh, what? It's the what? The never update? Really? Guys, you, I think you've actually meant... Ah, da, da. Go away. Got to run away. Ah, got shot in the butt. Um, I, I think they have actually pulled it off. I, it, I wasn't convinced at the beginning, even with the early snapshots. But uh, now I've seen that uh, the basalt place is my favourite place in the world. E everyone's seen this stuff through here. Like, where is it? Where's the where's the big mushroom things? I haven't found any blue ones yet. This bit. Let's go. I'm getting my sword out because stuff attacked me around here. Right. So look, everyone knows the mushrooms and. Like, there's all this stuff. We've seen all this. I've been here before. Yeah, look at it. Look. It, it, it's it's alright. It's very dead, deftly looking. And these guys, I've tried change, change, uh, tried trading with, but they don't like me. I don't know why. So, I've been sticking to my little hut all the way over here. And my garden. Yeah. I can grow flowers out here. It's awesome. Let's go back through this awesome pool. I love this pool. I'm doing this all uncut as well. I'm thinking, whatever. <laughs> ah! The heck was that noise? S 
scared the bejesus out of me. Right, anyway. So, not only have I spent a huge amount of time cutting this out, and I went about it in a really new and novel way. Normally when I've made bases and, and big builds like this, I have spent ages just digging a massive hole out. And it was so boring doing it. And you got so much materials left over. But what I did this time, literally, I dug about five or six blocks down. And I built the roof. Then I did another like five or six blocks down and built the, the arches and the walls. And then down a bit further and, and that. And then a bit further and then went away and did all the, the books. And, and then down. And then just basically lowered down and down and down and down and down. The hardest bit has been this bit down here. But to be honest, once I saw this, I was like inspired by my own build and I just wanted to get it finished. I just like proper just kept going for it, going down. I so do not want to fall off there. That is a long way down, I tell you. Uh, trying to make it spawn proof, fences, slabs on the bottom halves. Try and keep spawning down as much as possible. Light all this up with uh, flames. Uh, let's go show you the back area. Down here, this is the back door. So this is the workshop. So behind every barrel, we have got one, two, three, yes, four double chests, plus one, two, three, four hoppers. That is a lot of storage, okay? That is a lot of storage going into that. And I've actually, you can see I've got quite a bit of cobble. I've actually used quite a lot of cobble as well, because all of this is set up. I've had to dig all of this out of the rock. All the hoppers have had to go in, and well, yeah, it's it's been a it's been a long job. I got these square areas in the corner. Here. I didn't know what to do with them because obviously when you go around a corner, there, there's not much in the way you can do here in the way of storage, or can I? Can you think of a way I could do like some optimize? I've got two of these big corners. This goes all the way around. There are sixty barrels, right? Should we, should we do some maths? Hang on a minute. Right. Get it. Oh, look, that's the back of my head. Right. Calculator time. Right. How many items can we store in this entire system? Right. Four double chests, four hoppers, and a barrel. And there's 60 barrels. So 60 slots all the way around. Do your maths. Get set. Ready. Go. So then guys, did you work it out? Well, I make it that it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I think I might go it wrong. I think it's more than I thought it was. Hang on a minute, I'm gonna go away and check again. Nope, I checked, I did get it right. So it is uh, nine times 27, because each chest, even if it was a single chest or a double chest, would hold 27 slots. So it's nine times 27 plus five, 10, 15, 20 for the hoppers. Gives uh, 240 something times by 60 times by 64 because that's how many items you hold in each slot. I made it a million items. That is a lot of items. Do you love the way my head's glowing right now? I'll put the maps on the screen and see if I've got it right. Yeah, okay. I'm sure I'm sure I have. I'm sure I got it right. Million items. Absolutely fantastic. Amazing, scary, and it's taken a lot of time to do this. And I'm gonna be needing a lot more space as well in the future. And there is the start of the next phase, which is the the delivery system. This little buffer barrel. Anyway. Have you enjoyed this episode? It was a little bit of a world tour, a little bit of a show round of everything that's in here. I love that portal. That is the best bit ever, in my opinion. This, there we go, there's my portal, fantastic. I love this, I hope you liked it as well. Hit that like button, right down there. Come on, hit the like button. I'm not stopping until you do it, because I can tell you something else as well. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. They're the ones. That's exactly what you're doing. And also look down in that description because I have a fantastic 
and very small at the moment community over on Discord. These guys have been fantastic and they helped me all out through my last season. All my last season was on Twitch. I didn't record any videos for it. So this is officially season four. One, two, three, four. Counting with one PJC. As always, look at me, I'm in my boat. Uh, I can't remember the other quotes. Anyway, I love being here. I hope you do as well. And come back for more episodes because I'm going to be showing you how my, all my build progress and actually videos on my builds. Because it's going to be awesome. Love you. Bye.